So in today's video we're gonna make one of these from one of those. Okay, today's video we're gonna have a look at how to improve the actual basic hat. If you remember, I made two videos on uh, how to make a coconut leaf hat. Now, there was nothing wrong with that design, but when you fiddle around with things, you just by this by kind of experimenting and playing around, you eventually discover a maybe let's call it a slightly better way of doing things. And today we're going to make such a hat. We're gonna make a, a bigger version now. I'm going to start the video off at this point and if you don't know how to make this then go to the, i link it in the description below the first video and watch that and that's all you have to do in order to get to this point but just suffice to say all it is is um, part of a coconut leaf um, palm split in half and then carved down and then turned into a circle and tied together here putting two notches in there so there's little grooves in there so the string can go around it and that kind of holds it then together like that. All right, so actually it is pretty much the same as before. Um, basically you go under two like that. Now you can also go over and then go under like that but let's just go under. Under two, over, under, over, under. And normally you maybe stop here but what we're going to do because we want the base really really wide we're just going to use up all of the material, okay? So we're going to go again, under two. So I'm going to put my arm through there. But what I'll do now is I'm going to skip to the next bit, whereby I've done all of this. All this is weaved in in exactly the same pattern, remember? Under two, over, under, over, under, over, under, and over, under. Now this one is gone over and now this is the first time it's going under the first one that I ever made, under. So I'm holding again, just there. I'm trying to go into that little gap that I, that I left here, which is really, really handy. Alright, so I'm going under my last two. Over, and uh, over. Now because this is the second last, that was the first one I ever made, I'm gonna have to go under this one or under this one this time, okay? So I, generally I would have to go like that, but that's way too difficult. So I'm just gonna go under those two. Over, and uh. So, last one. So. This one was the one I just did, okay? So that means that these two are the two that I have to go under. So, under these two. Yeah, do you see it? Now, the best way to actually work this section now is actually on the flat. Reason being is because you can actually just press it down like that. And when you pull it, it just makes the proper shape. Now you'll notice here, this is the narrowest bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and pull it. And then the next one to pull would be, of course, the next one up. Or the next one coming this way. And whilst I'm doing that, I need to keep an eye on this side here. Just to tidy things up a little bit as well. Okay. And I can use this to kind of help me keep it at a certain level. Now what I mean with that is, uh, or rather flatness. You can make the hat either go upwards, you can make it curve slightly downwards, or you can have it exactly flat. Now to get it flat, you press it down, leaving it about two centimeters. This rim needs to be about two centimeters from the ground, and then it stays flat. If you press it all the way down, it'll curve upwards. And if you want it curved, you just do it in the air and you'll get a nice curvature on it. Um, and I mean like that, almost like a bowl. So just be aware of that. And pull the one before that. Sometimes you have to go back a little bit. 
And this just makes it really easy to pull at it as well. Having it on flat on the ground like that. Doesn't that just look fantastic? It's just amazing. What you can do with a bit of leaf. Now I went this way around, okay? So that meant when I pulled this guy here, this one here um, moved in. Then I went for the next one down and that meant this guy pulled in. But I don't want that because whenever I'm um, doing it like that, it's actually making the ones before loose. I want to be going the opposite direction. So going upwards. So I'm pulling this in, then I'm putting that one against it, that one against it, and that kind of locks everything in place. Don't pull too hard either. What we need to do now is we need to tidy up these guys. And the way to do it is they have to... See this little gap? We want to See these two funds are coming off this main beam here. See them? These two. They're going around like that. And we want there to be a gap here. So that means if we stick it on, under here, under this one, this one, this one, we're going to block up this area. We want to actually have no blockage here whatsoever. So you can actually put it under this one, but I just find it easier to put it and quicker to put it under this one here. Okay. All right, just cut them off. Okay, so I put the hat now on the anvil stand. Um, it's just handy to have. Uh, you don't, of course, need it, but it just brings it up to the right height. Now I'm going to add my funds, and the funds, they basically look like this, and they tend to open out like that, and the spine is this yellow bit here. So when I refer to that later, you know what it looks like. And this method is actually way different than um, the other method, of course, because we're not going to use those, we're going to use these guys. And we're going to have to find a way of slotting them in, and there's an easy way to do it, of course, is by just sticking them into, like slotting them into here like that, and then uh, putting them out under here, and then using that to make the actual bowl. But that's a lot of work, it takes ages to get them in, clean them up, all that kind of stuff. There's a way faster method, I'm going to show you that now. We've made our gap here, on each one of these here, and we can just simply slot one of these into, so one of these fonts into each one like that, and making sure that they're coming out like this. And that's basically all there is to it. Now if you're going to go um, the other direction, because with this you can of course figure out which way you would like to go. You can go, for instance, um, yeah go this direction you need to make sure that the actual spine of the fund is facing always outwards so if it's going that direction the spine is going that way and vice versa that way as you can see here it is going outwards now this is important because if you don't do that uh, when you make the bowl later and it's coming around like that and folding in here um, what's gonna happen is it won't tuck together into this pattern because there'll be a hard spine um, allowing it to basically not allowing it to actually come together like that um, it's hard to explain but just trust me this is the only way to do it so have the spine facing out and each one then would actually be tucked out this way now I'm gonna leave a bit sticking out and that's also very important and this is why this hat is so much more easy than actually um, if you're going to have them stuck in here, you don't have this bit stuck out and this bit is really important later for making this bowl shape even more solid. So you see now in a minute once we actually get to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each one of these into the actual uh, gap here. Let's pull that in. And my aim is to have each fond roughly the same thickness 
So you can see here, we have the same thickness here and here, here and here. Now I just wanted to show you this little bit here. And basically, I'm just um, putting each one on top of the next. And once I actually get around to the back here, this is the last one, this last one has to be under this one if that makes sense and then you have it set up perfectly okay so I've gotten now to here and these are now covered up of course by all these so literally all I got to do is lift them up to expose the little gap there making sure I'm always still pointing my spine of this font in the right direction Okay, starting to look good. Uh, last one now is this one here. And what I, I usually what I do is I just have it come out the top first. It's just easier to pull at it for now. Yeah. And then I can just because that's the one I did before. I just lift up all of these guys that came earlier. And then put that under there. So we're gonna get stuck anywhere. And then that's on top of this one now. And just put it sort of roughly there. Okay. Let's just bring those around. Okay, so next step is going to be determining where this one was pushed in by just simply wiggling it. So once I know that, I can have a look at it. And I know it's coming from this direction here. So I put it in here. Okay. Then I'm going to count one, two. Okay. One, two. And it doesn't matter where you start. It's probably better to start here on the top somewhere where it's a little bit more easily accessible so let's just do that so i'm looking here this is the one i'm wiggling so that's the one and it was put in here and then i just got to count the next one and the next one okay so i'm jumping over two take these out of the way so you can see what i'm doing and i'm twisting this which becomes the rim of my hat jumping over those two and then all i got to do is stick it in behind that one like that okay and then I go on to the next one now last one get into the right position has to go in here that one's the one I just did that one was the first one I did so that's the gap just very gently tuck it in there and that's it Actually, the next step is quite simple, really. All you gotta do now is tuck each one in to the next one, okay? That's all you gotta do. Like such. And they're gonna be just resting on the tip, of, in most cases, on the tip of each one of these. And that's perfectly okay. That's why we left them nice and long, because we are going to cut them off a little bit uh, later on. Okay, and that's it. Whew. Look at that thing. 